Hello everybody, welcome back. Today, as promised, I'm going to talk about how to make the etch resist on the membrane. I will also dig a little bit into actually etching the foil when you have finished and dried the etch resist. The pen I used, which works really well if you let it dry enough, is this lacquer pen. This lacquer pen, from what I could find, is oil-based, and you will be able to find these in basically any art store for about $5. Also, do keep in mind that the diameter of the tip of the pen you buy is going to limit how thin you can make your traces on your voice coil. So, let's jump to actually drawing the trace. As you can see in this clip right here, I am actually drawing on top of already drawn lines, and I'm gonna explain why I do this. Whatever mount or fixture that you design for your own 3D printer, or it, hell, if, even if you draw it by hand, you want the pen's tip to exert the absolute minimum amount of force onto the membrane. So on the first pass, not enough ink and oil from the pen will be disposed on the surface of the aluminum. So I do two passes to create a really thick barrier that's really hard for the sodium hydroxide to penetrate through. Now let's talk about drying time. It's really simple. Matte means dry, glossy means not dried. No other preparation is needed. You can now etch your foil. In the next video, I'll be diving into how to maximize area and optimize shape for your planar membrane. Thank you for watching.